Okay, for the second part, let's just make a few changes on our file here. Uh, let's save it as a new file. So file, uh, save as, uh, let's call it slides.html. Okay. And let's make a few changes. So for the first part, let's go into our boxes and let's wrap, let's add a new element inside of it. That's gonna wrap all the boxes. So we're gonna add a new element, a div with the class of slides. And it's gonna wrap all the boxes inside of it. So now we're gonna do just a little math here. So let's go back to our CSS and add this new element with slides class. And we basically just wanna add three rules to it. The first one, we're gonna give it a width. The width is gonna be the total width of all the slides combined. So we have each slide here is 800 pixels and we have um, seven of them. So it's gonna be 5,600 pixel wide. So that's gonna be enough space for all of them. Um, the height is gonna be the same at 500 pixels. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and listen to the transition again. But this time, we're going to be listening to the transform rule. Let's give it just a half second. And let's just ease it in this time. Now for our box, we don't need the position absolute anymore, nor the opacity, the transition, all of that. We pretty much don't need that anymore. The only thing that we're going to add here is maybe a float. We could have used display inline block, but this will work too. We're going to float it to the left, so they're going to be side by side. Okay, let's save that. And let's open this one in browser, because that's a different one. And let's just make sure we have the local host here. Okay, now, now let's make sure that the overflow uh, part is not showing. Let's just add it to the main parent element here and do overflow hidden. Okay, let's go back. So let's get rid of that and add a new set of rules. Just like we did uh, earlier with the crossfade, we are targeting the check state on the boxes when, but this time around, we are going for the slides. So basically, if we look at our markup, we are saying anytime this one is checked, go ahead and find boxes and slides. But what is different this time is we're moving the entire slide element. So we're going to be using the transform property and we're going to translate it on the X axis. So horizontally, the very first one is at the zero position. So that's fine. And then the next ones, we're going to make them go from right to left. So since they're traveling right to left, we're going to be using negative uh, position value. But if you look closely, each of them is a multiple of 800. Zero times 800 is zero. Um, 800 times one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, or eight. Okay. So basically, that's all it is that anytime now uh, we click on one of those labels, it's going to make the entire slide container move uh, either from the left or to the right. Okay. 
let's see the effect here. Pretty neat. So very nice in just uh, with just a couple um, tweaks here, we have transformed our crossfade that we had earlier into um, a coin slider, which is a pretty neat effect. Uh, lastly, we can add a video at the end here. Let's go ahead and add a video. So in here, at the very last one, I went ahead and found out the Kung Fu Panda trailer. We're going to add it at the end here. There we have it. So it's following the same structure. It has a class of box. We're just adding um, a gold color here. Uh, the class of video inside of it. Um, giving it a width and the height of the same and then we have an iframe inside here So now let's just make sure that we adding um, A rule for this gold box. Let's go ahead and here Add one for the label So that's gonna be slide 8 now and let's use GD for gold since we already have a G in here. Um, for the input, let's do the same. And let's add gold in here. And slide eight. And finally, um, let's make sure that the aspect ratio is taken care of. There are some uh, video CSS that we can add at the end here. Very nice technique um, that allows us to maintain a nice aspect ratio. So let's go ahead and look at our newly added element. Let's refresh. And it's not showing. Let's just double check real quick. I think we missed um, adding, making more space for the remaining uh, box. So let's go back in here. And yes, I think in our slides, we had it at 5600, which is eight times seven. Now that we have another one, I believe we need to add 800 more. So that's going to be 6,400. In our snippet earlier, that was taken care of us already here. So now it should show. Let's click on the very last one and we have the video. Very nice. So now you see that we have created a content slider. We can add video, we can add HTML, we can add anything else uh, using this technique. Uh, so that's all we had for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, until the next hack. Thank you.